Good morning, everyone. So I'm voicing this over at Saturday morning, whether I will share it Saturday or Sunday, or I don't know. Um, this is actually the small version of the long set of rainbow nails, but I don't think I've even edited up the long nail video yet. So I don't. Maybe I'll share the short version first, and then do the long version. But these were actually done after. So um, my lovely lady who um, comes in for her long nails, <laughs> which I won't see for a while. She sent me this picture, and I'll share it in the long nail video, of this beautiful, like, rainbow tree. And she said, oh, just do a set of nails from that. And I like, okay, I did. Um, and I did it kind of, like, coming out from the middle, um, from the index finger, and then kind of moving across. So with the short nails, I decided to do the two middle fingers first, because they would be, like, the middle, and then it would go out towards the edge of the nails if that makes sense um, and I thought that would flow a bit better on the shorter nails so I'm coming in first of all um, all of these are holographic multi-cuts from the glitter fairy and I'm coming in first of all with ruby and then a bit of bronze um, and when I do this I do like a little line but then I kind of move them up and down and I get a bit of a blend between the two different colors as well um, so that um, there's a few like little bits of red going into the bronze and a few bits of bronze coming into the red um, so we do that every time I kind of add an extra color and then next I am using gold and then I think after this we went apple did we go apple don't know. I've got loads of notifications coming up on my phone, so I can't quite see what's going on on the screen at the moment. Um, <laughs> so, coming in with gold, and again, doing that nice little crossover with the gold and the bronze. And then, yes, boom, coming in with apple. If you can hear someone shouting in the background, it's Ian turning Max off because he's no doubt destroying something I love again. Um, so yeah, so that is how I'm going to do it. Now, what I'm going to do on the nail next to this is mirror it. But th what you can see me doing now, this is the magic. This is the utter magic. The brush shards in quartz. Now I'm using my wet brush just to pick up a few of these and just randomly dab them over the nail. So you don't want a full covering, you just want like random like egg speckles of them. That is what makes this oh so blimmin' special. So on the little finger, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carry on the rainbow from the ring finger. So there's not gonna be any red on here. There's not gonna be any bronze. We're coming straight in with the gold um, because we're imagining the rainbow coming from right the middle of the four nails and then going out. So we're gonna go gold and then apple um, and then I added uh, candy floss, something else. I can't even remember though. Um, but again, just layering up those colors and getting a nice blend between um, each color as you put it on. Yep, so after apple there is light blue and then after light blue I'm going to put candy floss and then again I'm going to just put on a little bit of those quartz um, frost shards um, before I then cap. So now capping that ring finger, because I've given all that glitter a chance to like nicely set into place. So I'm going to cap this in clear acrylic.
while I'm at it, tapping that little nail as well. Then moving on to the middle finger and I'm literally just going to mirror what I've done on the last two nails and this is why I started on the ring finger so I've got something to kind of work away from. So once those two are done, tapping in clear acrylic before going on to the thumb.
um, with the thumb I am going to be doing a full rainbow so I'm starting with the red at the middle again so you can put the two thumbs together and you get the full rainbow and then moving all the way up and through to candy floss And then I'm just filing these into shape, so my usual filing routine, side wall, side wall, free edge, round the cuticle area, side walls, and then around the body of the nail. So I'm going to do this with all of the nails, dust them off, and then we're ready to top coat. And here we have it. So as you can see, obviously the holographic glitter is super me mega sparkly and awesome, but those frost shards just add that extra little shimmer, extra little dimension. I think it gives a little more movement to the glitter as well. So applying my top coat on all of these, and then I'm gonna cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. there we have it guys so i hope you've enjoyed this video i will get the long one edited um for the long set of nails uh, within the next few days hopefully and get that up too here are some beautiful sparkly rainbows to bring a little light in these dark dark times so thank you so much for tuning in i hope you're all keeping safe and well remember stay inside stay safe and i will see you all soon bye